Dear students, I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to start our first topic, find value of an algebraic expression of a given real number. I am calling it the first topic because the previous topic, which was about constant and also coefficient, variable and algebraic expression was studied in class seven level. That's why that was the recapitulation of the topic. Now we are going to start our first topic. So let us begin. In order to understand the concept of value of any expression, you need to understand some important things. You need to understand the concept of plus, minus, multiply, and divide. Second, you should know how to put or substitute the values. And then you should know how to solve and calculate it and then write the final answer. Now, the most important thing is that from class eight level, the calculator that is the simple calculator is allowed. So I have a feeling this time you won't make any mistake. So let us start the topic. This you may say the first exercise of value of a given number. So in the first question, these questions, in fact, you also have studied in class seven level. So let me consider the example. If X is equal to two Y minus seven Z, this is the question. If X is equal to two Y minus seven Z, you need to find X. In order to calculate X, the value of y and z are given. You need to put these values in this expression, just like this. In place of y, you will substitute minus it, but you need to put it in inside the bracket. And then you will put z equal to minus nine again in place of z, and again put it inside the bracket. Putting the values inside the bracket is very, very important. And then you will open the bracket by multiplying two by minus eight. First, you need to multiply the sign of two, that is plus with this minus, plus minus is minus, and then two eights are 16. Then minus minus plus, remember one thing, I'm repeating it once again. You need to multiply the sign first, and then you will multiply the number or any variable if it is available. So minus minus plus and minus 16 plus 63. Once you will calculate it by using calculator, it will become 47. In example number two, t is equal to pi r squared. This is the question. You need to calculate t. So the value of r is given. You need to put the value of r in this expression. Pi is 22 upon 7. You can take pi as 22 upon 7 or 3.142 and you will put that value 7 into r in fact i haven't put the value in the bracket but you have to it becomes 7 square 49 and when 49 will be multiplied by 3.142 it will become 153.95 square centimeter actually this is the area of something that's why i have put power 2 on cm all right so let's move to the next slide. One more example. If S is equal to 4 pi R square, R is 10.5. So once you will put the value of 10.5 in R, I have put it in the black bracket. And pi is 3.142. So 10.5 has power 2. So you will break it into two 10.5s. And you will, when you will multiply all together, it will become 1385.6. This time there is no unit because in the question, there is no unit of R 10.5. Question number four, V is equal to U square plus 2GS. This is the question. 
This time you need to calculate S. You will put V25, U12, and G10 in this expression. V is 25, 25 squared is 625. 12 is squared because U is 12. 12 is squared, you need to put it in the bracket. I'm repeating it again. 144 plus 20 S, two tens are 20 and S. First you will take 144 towards the left. It will be subtracted by 625. It will become 481. And then 20 is multiplied by S, so it will divide by 481. So 20, 481 upon 20, that means 24.05. Next, another very important and in fact, you all are watching a very difficult question. This is the question. Capital N is equal to small m upon x plus q. Here the capital of N is 9 upon 5. You will change it to 1.8 as the calculator is allowed in class 8 level. So you can change it into decimal. So all the work will be done by calculator. Small m is equal to 9 and x equal to 2. When you will put 1.5 here and in place of small m 9, small x 2 and q, you will take this 2 plus q towards 1.8. 2 plus Q is divided by 9. 9 upon 2 plus Q. Remember, when the 2 plus Q is the denominator of 9. 2 plus Q is the denominator of 9. So it is divided by 9. It will move towards 1.8. So it will multiply it by 1.8. So 1.8 multiplied by 2 is 3.6. And uh, 1.8 multiplied by Q is 1.8. Q is equal to 9. In order to calculate the value of Q, first you will take 3.6 to the right side. So 3.9 minus 3.6. It will become 5.4. Now the number is alone. There is nothing adding or subtracting with this 5.4. Now in order to calculate the value of Q, Q is equal to 5.4 upon 1.8. It will become 3. So in this way, this was a little typical question, but uh, I have a feeling you in order to understand the concept much and much you need to search the internet and uh, go to google.com and write uh, the value of an algebraic expression on google.com it will open some youtubes and other questions like mcqlearn.com that mcq website so you can solve many and more questions and uh, after this you will see hopefully some exercise regarding this topic i hope you all have understood the concept of value of an algebraic expression i mean how to put the value of any alphabet into expression as this is the expression so you need to put the these values in the expression remember one thing as i have told you before you need to learn the concept of plus minus multiply divide it is absolutely important okay boys and uh, thanks for watching. And the most important thing, watch it at least three times in order to understand the concept of value of an algebraic expression. And uh, after this, you will solve the exercise, which will be related to this topic. A special thanks to you and Allah Hafiz.